Hey guys and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 and 5 tutorial. So in today's video what I'm going to be going over is how to leave snowy footprints in your game. So if I were to hit play I'll show you what we're going to make today. So as you can see as we're walking around we're going to be leaving these snowy footprints in the ground like so and also when we stop moving what we should see is that these are going to despawn as well which means they're not going to be staying in the world forever as you can see there they're despawning and I've set that to 10 seconds just for me and the reason we're doing that is because if you have too many decals in the world at once it will get very very laggy and it just won't run well at all so we want to just make sure we're not doing that now obviously these snowy footprints are going to be spawning on basically like what concrete or whatever this is not on snow but obviously again that's just because of how i've got this level set up you can obviously do this wherever however and whenever you like but this is how i've got it set up this is just a very basic simple system which we're doing today but something which can give quite a nice effect like this and you can obviously do this for anything as well it doesn't just have to be snow this could be mud water whatever it is that you want we're just creating a footstep system or footprint system i should say sorry not footstep as you can see on screen here so this is what we're going over and creating today so without further ado let me delete this code and i'll show you how i've done it i should also mention as well if you want to have this snow which you can see in the world right now i'll leave a link on screen now and in the description down below to a video where we go over creating this niagara snow system so what we want to do first is we want to import our footprint images. Now I'm going to be using some which I've just found off Google and I'll leave a link in the description down below to the images which I'm using. So I'm going to import them now. So let me open up my documents folder, find where they are and then just drag and drop these in to import them like so. Once we've got them imported, what we want to do is we want to open them up straight away. Now if you're using the ones I'm using, what you're going to want to do is make sure that you tick chroma key texture, pick the color, pick the eyedropper and just choose the black background like so press ok and that will then remove the background like this and we want to do that for both of these like so just so we're going to be removing the background and making it a transparent image you can obviously do this in an external program like photoshop if you want but it's no different we can do it here too it works just perfectly then we're going to close these like so and we want to actually make these into decals so that's very simple what we can do is right click on one of the textures hit create material open it up straight away and then simply change the material domain from surface to deferred decal this is now a decal but to make it work perfectly for us what we want to do is change the blend mode from opaque to translucent then we'll have the rgb into base color and the alpha or the a into opacity press apply and once this loads we should see we now have a snowy footprint you might not be able to see it in the preview just because it's a decal but if we were to close this drag it into level you should see we now have a snowy footprint like so obviously it's massive but we're going to get into that later on we want to make sure that we do that for both of them so i've got footprint l let's also get footprint r and it's the exact same thing change it to defer decal and translucent and hit apply as easy and simple as that and let's close this like so what we want to do now is we want to determine where we're going to spawn this in so in order to do that we need to open up our character blueprint so for me that's going to be third person blueprints bp third person character in here we're going to go straight over to the viewport and what we're going to do is select the mesh and we're going to add a plane this plane here i'm going to name foot l and what this is is it's simply just going to be a reference to where the bottom of the left foot is the reason why I'm not getting the bone name and getting the location of the bone is because this is a lot more simple and also the bone socket isn't at the very bottom of the foot. I want this to be a little bit more precise. So once we spawn that in, it should be parented to the mesh like so. Then we're going to change the parent socket to be foot L, so the left foot. And you can see it should now be moving in time with the left foot too. Obviously it's not moving at all because the left foot isn't moving, but it will be. So if it's changed location like this, that's perfect. We're then just going to rotate this and move it into the position which we want, which we think is going to be best for us. So let's toggle off snapping. I'm just going to make this a bit smaller. You don't need to do the scale at all, but I think it's just going to look a little bit better and help us see where this is really going. You don't need to be too precise with this, but I'm just going to go like this. So again, get a better reference idea for me. So that is going to be good. You don't want it too low that it's going to be going through the floor. You don't want it too high that it's not going to be where the foot actually is. So for me, this is going to be perfect. What we're going to do on here as well is search for hidden we want to make sure we tick hidden in game and then we're also going to find the collision and make sure we set the collision presets to no collision so essentially this plane has no collision and the player can't see it so it's basically not there in game at all 
it's here purely just to be used as a reference of where to spawn in our footprint. Once you've done all that, we're going to select it and duplicate it with Ctrl C, Ctrl V, making sure it's still parented to the mesh and change it to foot R. This is obviously now going to be the right foot. So we'll reset the location to default and change the parent socket to foot R like so. Now this is going to be at the right foot location. We'll just make sure we rotate it back so we can see it properly. And then again, do the same thing of moving it into the correct position for us, which I think is going to be here just like so. So we'll compile and save that like this. And that is all we need to do in the character blueprint. Again, all we're doing in here is just getting reference locations. So we can close this like so. Next, we want to determine when we want to spawn the blueprints. So we just did where, now we're doing when. And I said blueprints, I mean decal, sorry. So to do that, we're gonna open up our animations. So let's go to content, characters, mannequins, animations, Quinn. Now these might be different for you, but these are the ones which I'm using. And also just for the purpose of the tutorial, I'm only gonna do it in one animation. And for me, that is run. However, you just do this same process in every single animation where you want the footprints to spawn. So you probably want walking, running, maybe even idle if the player's feet are moving and also jump landing. So when they land from their jump, basically anywhere where the feet are moving or where you'd expect footprints to spawn, go into these animations and do this same process. So let's go back to the beginning of the animation and you're gonna to want to make sure you have a notify track. I do, but it's already been used. So I'm just gonna add in another one and use that like so. Then what we want to do is just scroll along the timeline until we find where the player's foot is touching the floor. Now for me, this is easy to do because they've already done some here, but I'm gonna do it anyway. So we'll scroll over and I think here. So again, you can see the right foot there is touching the floor. We'll see it's right. So we'll right click, add notify, new notify, and we'll call this footprint R for footprint right. Then we'll go along again till we see the next one hit the floor, which is about there. And you see this is now the left footprint. So we'll add notify, new notify, footprint L. And we'll go along and do this for every single time a foot hits the floor. So the next one is here, footprint R, except what we can do now is right click, go to add notify, skeleton notifies, and we have the ones which we have. So for me, that is footprint R like so. And then we'll go over, do it again, until it hits the floor, which is there, skeleton notifies, footprint L and so on and so forth until you have all of your footprints in here, which for me is gonna be these final two, and we'll move over till we find the last one perfectly like so. Again, these might be different for you. You might have more, you might have less, but essentially anywhere where the foot is hitting the floor, you want to have an anim notify, which is obviously gonna be an event, which will fire off, which will then spawn the footprint from. So we'll save that and close that and again do that for every animation you have where a footprint should be spawning and finally last but not least what we want to do now is actually spawn in this footprint decal so to do this we want to go to our animation blueprint so for me that's going to be content draw again and then just animations abp quinn as that is the animation blueprint i'm using in here we want to first of all get begin play so event blueprint begin play and we want to get a reference to our character blueprint. Now you may already have this. If you do, perfect, just use that. So for me, I'm going to do cast to BP third person character with the object obviously being get player character, like so. Then we're gonna right click as our character, promote to variable and name this character reference. Another reason we're doing this is because we obviously want to be able to get the foot location references from our character blueprint. So we'll compile and save that. Underneath this, we want to right click and search for the notify we created. So I named mine footprint R and footprint L. So let's do R first. So anim notify footprint R. So essentially whenever the animation notify is called, so the foot hits the ground, it's gonna fire off this event, which will do what we want. And what we want it to do is spawn decal at location not attached, sorry, we want spawn decal at location like so. The decal material for me is going to be footprint R mat. The decal size I found for me 15, 15, 30 as the perfect size for the images I'm using. 
To find out for you, what you can do is simply just drag one into the level and then change the decal size down here to see what works best for you. So I found that 128, 128, 256 is a good kind of scaling, so it's all proportionate. Then you take the padlock and just change the values and lower them until you find what works best for you. So again, for me, it was 15, 15, 30, and I found that by also just placing in a reference to a mannequin in the level and then putting the footprint underneath the foot of a mannequin and seeing which works best. And again, you'll notice that one does. So that looks perfect for me. So we'll go back in and continue on with what we're doing. The location obviously wants to be the location of our foot. So we're gonna get the character reference. Out of this, we're going to get foot R, which should be all the way at the bottom. And that's the plane we created earlier. And out of this, we're going to get world location. So again, where in the world is this foot? And that will then be the location we're spawning the decal at. The rotation, we want to do 90 on the X, minus 90 on the Y, and zero on the Z. It'll always want to be minus 90 on the Y, and I've got 90 on the X, just because again, of the image I'm using, it needs to be rotated 90 degrees. For you, it might not, so again, trial and error, see what works best for you, and again, you can just test by dragging it into the level and playing about with it. Then the lifespan, I'm gonna set to 10. Now this is obviously in seconds, so for me, 10 seconds after this footprint is spawned in, it's gonna despawn. You might want to set this to 5, 10, 15, 30, 60, 120, whatever it is that you want to do, just put that in there. If you have it as zero, it will never despawn, it will always be there, which you can do if you want, but I would not recommend it, because again, the longer the player walks, the more footprints there'll be, the more decals, the laggier it will get, which obviously no player wants a laggy game. Then finally, last but not least, we need to do this again, but with the left footprint. So, anim, notify, foot L, so footstep L like so. Then this is gonna be the same thing, so what I'm gonna do is just get the spawn decal location and get world location, and then this time, instead of the character reference getting foot R, we're going to instead get foot L like so, and then obviously change the decal material as well to be footprint L instead of R. Sorry if you keep seeing kind of loads of flashing windows like this. This is a really annoying bug that some RTX 30 series cards get with Unreal Engine 5. Not sure when NVIDIA are gonna fix this, but it is just waiting on NVIDIA, not Epic. Kind of annoying, but hopefully it gets fixed soon. So we'll compile and save that, and this should now be everything working perfectly for us. If we to minimize this, hit play, we should see that when we start walking, they should spawn in like so. Now you'll notice I'm only getting the left footprint spawning in, that's probably just because I did this before to obviously create it for the beginning of the video. I've got two different versions of the notify. So if I were to just get them both, we should see that this is gonna work. So we've got footprint R and footprint L. Again, I've got two different ones just because I made it earlier as well. So you shouldn't have this problem. It's only something I've got for the purpose of the tutorial. So now we should see this is gonna be working perfectly for us. Although it's still apparently not doing it on the right sometimes. And that one also had the black background. So I think I'm having some weird bugs with UE5 at the moment. Not too sure what it is. I'm using UE5.1, so I may be just finding new bugs that haven't actually been fixed yet, or haven't even been found out about yet. And I found one problem is in my right footprint material, I didn't connect the alpha into the opacity, which I thought I did, but clearly I didn't. So I need to do that, apply and save it. And now this should maybe work a bit better for us if we just start walking. We're going to get it on the left and right, except it's not always appearing on the right foot for some reason. But again, obviously you saw it was working at the beginning of the video, so this does work. Again, I think I'm just finding some bugs with UE 5.1. And I have a feeling the problem with that might be because, again, I was using two different anim notifiers. I might have put in the different ones in here. So just to be safe, what I'm going to do is delete these and redo them. Again, all the issues I'm having now, you hopefully shouldn't have. I believe it's mainly because I've done this before and I'm doing it again in the same project. I think when I removed it all and saved, UE5 didn't remove some of the references I had, which means I've now got double references, so I'm gonna do it again, but with different names. So again, really sorry about this and for this to be in the tutorial, but obviously you shouldn't be having these issues and I wanna keep it in and show how I fixed it, just in case A, you do have it, have the issues, but also B, to show 
everyone has these issues and you've got to just try out these different methods of fixing them try and error see what works see what doesn't work so this is a kind of another learning lesson in of itself you will run into issues and you've got to try out different things to fix them and sometimes it's not your fault sometimes it is just you find bugs sometimes the references aren't removed properly whatever it is but there's always ways around it so let me just redo this and i'll get back to you So I've now created some new notifiers with new names. So I've got Snow R and Snow L. Now for to go back to my animation blueprint, what I'm going to do is get these Snow R and Snow L notifiers, connecting these into here. And now we should see this is going to work a lot better for me, hopefully. We'll compile, save, and let's test this one out. So we'll see, we've now got these spawning perfectly on the left and right footprints. And after 10 seconds, these should also despawn which you can see happening perfectly right now like so so again that was the issue i was having i think it was just some references weren't properly removed which means it was getting the wrong one was trying to access something which wasn't actually there so i fixed it by just creating it again with a new name that can sometimes happen if you do create things with the same name after deleting it but obviously that's the issue that's how i solved it hopefully you wouldn't have had that problem but i think that'll be it for this video as we've done everything we want to do what we've done is we've set up a basic system which will allow us to have these footprints of snow in our games which will also despawn after a while so we don't have them constantly in our game lagging it all out and it looks something like this which I think looks pretty good for what it is. So thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful and if you did please make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.